Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome to this video on Wakelet. Specifically we're looking at the new feature on Wakelet that's just come out, Wakelet Spaces. So I've logged into Wakelet. For those of you not familiar with the normal Wakelet, click in the banner in the right hand corner and you can watch my video on the previous version, the normal version of Wakelet. So as I say, we're going to focus on the new Spaces feature within Wakelet. To access that, if we look down the left hand side we can see there's a picture with a profile picture with a blue line around it, circle around it, and then there's letter J and a plus. To create a new spaces, I can click plus. It will ask me to edit the profile image and enter a name. Or if I've been invited to join a space, I can add a code. So I'm gonna focus on the one I've already created. So to edit the appearance of your space, you can see we've got the, the initial, because I've not added an image, the title, and the link. So if I click on the link, that will take me to my space. And then if I click edit profile, I can then start to change it. So I can change the header image. And as with Wakelet, those of you familiar with it, you can choose an image from their, their library, or you can add your own. And again, you can upload a profile picture as well if you choose. And then just click apply to do that. You can rename it. You can change the at, which is the, the link, which you can see is the URL as a sense. You can add a bio. And as we scroll a bit further down, what you can start to do is you can add sections. And this is where it really takes a step forward. So you can add another section. And you can add the various sections that you want. Having added those sections, you can move your collections into different sections and you can see we can just choose, we put it in week three, it appears in week three. So you can really organize that content. I can see this has been great for teachers because they could create content and organize it week by week depending on the lessons, which, which just works so well for remote learning. So that's how you edit the look and feel, you add sections and you move your collections between the different sections. When you finish with that, you can click save and then from here, you would be able to then go on and share it. And if you click share, you've got the option of via a QR code, via a link, or you can add it directly in to Microsoft Teams or share it via one of the social media platforms listed there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive back a little bit. So we'll go back to Wakelet, and we're gonna go into the collection, which we are here. Um, to add a new collection, it's very simple. You click new collection, and it's just like the wake that you're familiar with. So we can add a cover, cover image. Again, we can either upload one of our own or choose one from their library. We can add a title. And if you carry on here, you'll find the ACK. For this week. And then we could start to add content and we could add some text. We could put an introduction there. I'm not gonna do that. Or we could start to add content so we could bring up a video and put that in there. So let's bring up my YouTube channel. And we could pick up one of the videos. Here's got one on Microsoft Whiteboard, for example. I could take that and I could get a URL for that. And I could add that into the search box and then choose to add that video so you can see and I can reorder it but as I say do click up on the banner in the right hand corner and you can watch my full video on this aspect of Wakelet so I've added my collection there I'm happy and that's done so at the moment you can see that just in the bottom corner of each thumbnail you can see the status so at the moment this collection is locked as is this one and this one is visible so if I was to share my collection, the only one which would be visible would be collection one. 
because the other two aren't there. So I could see this working. If I was a teacher, I could create and, and populate my collections and then alter the visibility so they're visible and then they appear in the space. So if I go back just to show you, this is the finished space. You can see at the moment, only collection one is, is appearing. The others aren't appearing. If I go back and I go in to that collection and I change the visibility by clicking on the padlock to say it's public and save. Now, if I go back to Wakelet, back to the space, we should find that at the bottom we've got that. Now, at the moment, I haven't organized it. So we just go back. But if we click Edit Profile, I can then scroll down, and now it's going to give me the option to assign it to a particular week and click Move. So now, if I scroll back up, save that, we'll find I've got two collections in the resources. So there you see, really great way to create resources and as I've said, really useful for sharing maybe lesson activities with your students week by week and just using that visibility function. Your space is always published, but your collections are either only visible when you want them to be visible. As with the normal wakelet, just underneath where you've got the profile visibility, you've got bookmarks and that will show you all of the bookmarks that have been added to all of the collections. So it's quite a nice way just to get a feel for it and you can alter how they're displayed. So it can be a very small thumbnail with, with detail. It can be a larger thumbnail or it can be a grid and you can also Filter it so those not in a collection and, and you can choose links, videos and tweets. So you can choose the type of content you want to filter it. So it's quite nice to be able to see that. And you can also see who are the contributors. So if you want to invite people to contribute to those collections, if you click invite members, you can then copy a link and send them that link or you can send them the code and that will enable them to join a collection and contribute to it. So there's two ways there. To add people you want to contribute, go to members and invite members. If you want people to view it and just view it read only, then use the share function and share it that way. So there you have it, a quick look at spaces. I think it's a really great addition to what already was a really flexible platform. And I could really see, as I say already, teachers making a huge benefit of using this to curate and organize content, which they then share with the learners for remote learning activities. On the flip side, I think students could do great things with it as well. I, I could see them creating e-portfolios, mapping activities and assignments to different collections, and then having them as a space to showcase what they do and their skills. So I hope you found the video useful. Give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.